Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world away, and we now got issue 18, stage 63 of the Hero Collector and Eagle Moss release of Build the Ecto-1. You know what, I wasn't due to do a video till Wednesday this week because I've got the kids on half term. Uh, but this got delivered to me this morning and I thought, you know, what better way uh, to do a really quick one. Issue 63, not much to do at all, uh, but it's quite involved, issue uh, 18. So I thought I'll show you everything that's in here and all the stuff that we've got in this one. So uh, let's do that now. Okay, so looking at the magazine, we've got the typical inventory showing exactly what we've got. We've got the rails in this one as well, and then it's electrics, and a lot of electrics to do in this one. In issue 63, we're going to be the latitude and longitude processors. As I said to you, not much to do. We're going to be putting some details onto this rail here, and then securing this rail just into the uh, back end of this internal that we've been working on in the previous issues. Uh, when it comes to the next stage, is issue, issue 64, we're going to do some control boxes and the gurney rails, and that's going to finish like that. Not a lot to do. More than made up for it in the next stage, though. This is the PCB speakers and wires. And as you can see, we have got control boards, wires, speakers, everything. <laughs> going in one thing look how much stuff we've got going into that and in the last stage of this we're actually putting all of the switches and wires together so it's a right hickledy pickledy uh, uh, spaghetti of wires if you like it reminds me of um, the issue that we did of issue 56 of the DeLorean when we put all of these wires in uh, gonna have some fun with that I reckon and then coming in issue 19 more wires and then look check this out we've got the frames to the vehicle there so this is going to be a big old box i reckon issue 19. Uh, let me just show you some of the packs as you can see this is issue 63 here that's everything that we've got in that uh, i'm doing this in no sort of order we've got issue 66 as you can see lots and lots of wires uh, issue 64 which you know is the gurneys and then finally look at all of these issue 65 we have got Control boards, speakers, wires, oh, loads, absolutely loads. <laughs> I'm so excited to be getting this. We've all been waiting for this, and it's great that this is now finally starting to come. Now, listen, if you want to get this for yourself, I'll put the links down here. If you're in the US, just follow the US link, and if you're in the UK, follow the UK link. You'll be able to get this all the way from issue one and build up to where we are at the moment. As you can see, we've got a rolling chassis, and we're working on the internals at the moment. So we've come quite a long way already. But can't wait to get cracking on this, and that's what we're going to do. Let's get cracking. Okay, the first thing we need from issue 63 is basically this long section looking just like that. Lay that down. And we also need these two sections here, which have got the lug on the bottom, looking that just like that on top. We've got two of them, exactly the same they are. And quite simply, we want this to be this way round, and we're going to be putting these sections in, one facing towards this end here, just like that. They do have some little lugs in there, so should be able to line up nice and easily in there. Just like that. As you can see, it holds itself in, really, at the moment. Uh, and then the other one's just going to go onto the other side, just over here. Just like that. Then we're going to secure these from the other side with some AP screws. And there's the AP screws. Come in a pack. AP screws. AP screws. And we're going to uh, put these in. They're just going into plastic, so they should go in nice and easily just into the bottom there so here's the first one that one's just popped out and then once again i'll just reattach that one there load up one of my screws and once again i'll just put a screw just in there to hold that together so we now have two details already on this rail now the next details are exactly the same as well. They look just like this, again with a lug just at the bottom there. And they're just gonna line up with this section here. So one in there and one just into the middle section here. Once again, gonna be held in with AP screws. So I'll get them loaded up, we'll put them in there. There's the first one. The lugs are quite, uh, quite a snug fit in here so what you might have to do when you push them in just give them a little bit of a so you can feel it they'll actually hold themselves in there quite snug but uh it does want an ap screw just to tighten that up again there so we'll put that in 
just like that. So there we go, we've got four details in now. There's one more detail just left to put in, and that's this detail here. As you can see, you've got one edge which is actually cut in compared to the rest. That edge is actually gonna face outwards, just like that on that section there. So once again, we're gonna put an AP screw just at the bottom to keep that in place as well. Just like that. And there you go. That's all the details in place. What we wanna do now is bring over the interior of the vehicle because this is just gonna be going into this channel that you can see here. And it's gonna go this way round with the uh, screw holes nearest to this edge going towards the back. And they're just gonna fit into the three lugs that you can just see there. So this is gonna go in just like that. Let's just line them all up. There we go. And then we're gonna be putting some AP screws into there. Now there's four AP screws to put in here. So we've got one just at this far side over here. That's the first one in. We got one just here. I can see the modding community gonna be doing something to cover the, uh, the screws here. <laughs> I've already anticipated that, I think. The third one's just here. Just like that, probably best on one of the top cameras there. And then the last one, number four, is just right at the back there. Just like that. And there we go, that's in. Just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Told you it was nice and quick, but I did want you to have a chance of looking at the magazine, especially this section here. Now this is talking about how we're connecting all the dashboard wires to the uh, main wires that we're going to be putting in. This is actually an issue 65, so we don't have to worry about that stage 65. The reason I say it is there was some discrepancy about what wires we put where. It's not really going to make a difference. All it's going to mean is one side of the radio, if the wires are in the wrong way around, is going to say operate the headlights and the other side will probably operate the engine noise. If it's the wrong way around, it just switches. It's not going to make much of a difference at all, but uh, I've tried to look at the pictures there with the colour wires, but it doesn't really give away where they go. So uh, it is what it is. The good thing is all you're doing when you do issue 65 is you're just going to connect the colours up with the colours. So they're going to match. So we're not going to have a more problem there. But uh, hopefully that's alleviated a lot of questions about the electrics. I can't wait to get started on it. But when you see them, uh, as I showed you in the pack at the start, there's a lot. <laughs> We're going to get cracking on that. But once again, if you do want to do this, I've put the link down here. Once again, if you're in the US, follow the US site. If you're in the UK, follow the UK. And you can get this for yourself. Build up the Ecto-1. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.